Nope. Nope. Yeah, that all seems like a problem for future Ben. Let's go catch some. What's up, MFers? Hopefully I uh, don't look as rough as I feel right now. Drove for like 17, 18 hours yesterday. A little bit of a crazy trip. I'll tell you why a little bit later uh, in detail. Got a, a, some crazy, interesting, really crappy and really good news, I guess. Uh, about my boat situation for this upcoming year and my my, my past boat situation and uh, yeah basically spent the last like nine days in Omaha for Thanksgiving and then just hanging out with the family right back behind me I have my new boat that I'm going to be using and I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit and explain the situation so one bit of amazing news before we uh, Go check on the, the, the pets to see how they're doing since we haven't fished for them here in a little bit. One of the reasons we were back in Omaha for so long was all of you guys saw my post earlier this summer, but Becky's dad actually had to have uh, a, a lung transplant, a double lung transplant. And um, I put a post up and I, so many of you guys went out and supported. So thank you guys so much for that. Seriously, I haven't really had a chance to to tell you guys that as much as I want to because it's, it's just been so crazy the last several months. Um, with everything he's gone through, but we had some complications. He was in the hospital for over a hundred days um, But he got moved to a rehab facility um, And then he is actually going to go home tomorrow, which is probably when you're watching this video. So absolutely amazing That I mean he's doing great and that it's possible to take someone's lungs and put them into your body and have them work so that was the amazing news of going back to Omaha and why we were back for a little bit longer than we usually would go back. Also, before I start flipping some of these baits in here and swimming them around, uh, if I sound a little bit weird today, it's because I was eating um, this last week in Omaha and part of a crown broke off and it's really sharp and so it's been cutting the shit out of my tongue. And it's really, really swollen, so I sound like a damn goober, but let's, uh, let's check on these jokers, see if they want to bite out here this morning. These ponds actually look a lot different than when I left them. The grass is totally different. There was grass like just floating around out in the middle. Now it's all kind of around the edge, which I, I really actually like that, but let's see if they'll bite. Oh, he's on it. Got him, yes, got him. Oh, that's a giant one. Yes. Come here, big girl. Come here, big girl. Oh yeah, let's see what Gina looks like. Let's see what Gina looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, bud. Yeah, bud. She's not as fat as she has been, but winter's coming. Look at that. That's not the biggest one in the pond, but that's, that's a daggone begging, you know? Well, there's a even bigger Gina right over here, too. She's waiting. She's like, let her go. wonder if she'll bite, too. Get this Gina back in there. I think Ozzy said this is Gina Jr. the other day when we were fishing. Here we got Gina, Gina Jr. And what was it? He named the other one Rastus. Maybe I came up with that. I don't know. I'm kind of dumb. Usually these big ones over here, they're too smart to be eating any damn baits. But we got this little realistic bluegill one. And bluegills is what they like to eat over here. So I think they like that. You know what? Let's go get Ozzy's pole. Let's see if we can, we can feed these guys with a live bluegill. So look at that. The old ugly cast. We got a bag on bobber and just a little bit of worm cricket on there a little six cents size 12 hook let's see if we can catch this bluegill quick to feed these girls sucks because i got the gopro so it's wide angle you guys won't be able to see the blow up quite as good there we go there we go we got ourselves a bluegill right there a little hybrid bluegill that is no don't go back in bud all right you guys ready we'll give him a little head squeeze so he stays up top for you guys you're gonna eat that right there. Oh, he didn't float. You guys can't see what's about to happen. He's on the bottom of this bass, about to tear his ass up. Old Gina's down there eating him off the bottom. <laughs> All right, that didn't go as planned. Let's let's get another bluegill with my little cricket slanger, the Osborne special.
Well, as you guys can see, got the old truck completely unloaded and uh, moved to right here. <laughs> Feeling a little bit lazy this morning. And honestly, I'm kind of excited to show you what's right back behind me because I'm, it's a new boat. I'm excited for new boats no matter what they are. But I will say a little bit of a disclaimer. I kind of alluded to it at the start of the video. Uh, I wasn't planning on this being my boat right now, but it just is. Um, I'll explain that in a second, the, the, the fuckery that kind of went on with all that. But um, you guys ready for it? Big reveal. Ooh. looks familiar what the world it's just like my it's the same color scheme there oh even comes with a six cent sticker because well a lot of you guys remember this is my boat i've had this boat before that's right folks back in the old 2021 tritune um let me explain why i'm in the 2021 triton right now so got a deal with the uh the boat dealership boat works as you guys know uh a couple years ago a year and a half ago or so and so that's where i got my last two camuses from um full disclosure loved the camuses um I, I can't say enough good things about them had a little bit of trouble with the top end speed and getting my weighting right and stuff but that was probably just a uh, mental and, and user error on my end but besides that i mean great ride storage was great nothing broke on them they were like impeccable as far as the the little things that were on the boats um that that didn't go out the the panel and everything was good um yeah i don't really notice to say the latches all were great the hinges all were great took rough water like a champ and i was just a i was a big fan of the camuses but something happened um with boat works that i wasn't expecting so i traded in this triton because i was getting a new boat which is good for someone that fishes as much as i do every single year to to swap boats and, and get the newest best equipment when i got that deal with boat works i traded this triton in and um i'm not going to really go into details because i don't honestly know all the details of what happened i'll just say that um boat works went out of business they are no longer in existence that's uh that's a lot of what happened with my boat wrap last year which i am 100 percent going to honor and do this year so don't be worrying the people that were were and are members of the channel you're, you're still getting your pictures on the uh the boat wrap because i'm required to have a boat wrap for this year and go in a different direction with it altogether. but um yeah i got a little hectic over at the boat works and um needless to say they weren't able to uh put a lot of effort i don't think into selling the old triton that was there for the last couple of years. Baitworks, you guys know, I've been using reels from Baitworks uh, and line from Baitworks the last couple of years. They have split off and doing their own thing and they're actually doing really well. They got a bunch of awesome six cent stuff. They're actually just putting in a giant Black Friday order um, over there. So hopefully get that in the next couple of days because we're gonna go out of town. But yeah, so I have the 2021 Triton again, which as you guys can tell from it, I got new tires on it. I got all the fiberglass is 100% good to go. I got brand new carpet. The entire thing has brand new carpet in this thing. Um, raptors are still on it, 10 foot Raptors. It's got three Garmin screens, which are not on it right now. And I'm gonna add my 16 to it. And today I'm going to be in the process of getting all five of those powerhouse lithium batteries hooked up in the back of that guy as well, as well as the uh, the running guns and everything. So exciting news is I actually got a boat deal this year with a company that I've wanted to work with for a very long time. It's gonna be an awesome deal for me moving forward. It's not gonna be a jump from brand to brand thing or anything. They, they put a long-term commitment in. It's the Melican Fishing Channel uh, to work with me for the Elite Series and everything moving forward. So I'm pumped for that. Um, that brand is not a Triton, um, although I do really like this boat. It, freaking it's like brand new it's got a hundred and some hours on it and it's not a camus boat it's actually a different brand but i'm not gonna uh, spill the beans on what brand that is yet of course we got to keep uh, a little bit of uh, a mystery for you guys because that's always fun because i'm an influencer right so i gotta do a big boat reveal even though i didn't do a truck reveal of my truck i got regardless um the problem with this whole issue is that boat is not going to be ready until january um and as you guys know I fucking fish a lot and I'm not going to go a month, a month and a half without filming any content. We're actually going to go out of town this weekend to a really badass place um, that I want to go for a long time um, that has giants in it. And so what I am going to do is spend the day, maybe more than one day, hopefully one day, rigging this up with those lithiums. I'm going to put my scope stuff on there. I'm going to get all my tackle into the boat here, make sure, fingers crossed, everything's working properly after this boat 
has not been touched since I dropped it off, um, is, uh, other than fixing some fiberglass and putting that new carpet in. This boat is going to be for sale. I seriously will make a really, really good offer for any of you guys that uh, want to reach out. I'm thinking somewhere in like the low 60s, um, which is going to include, you know, three $3,000 screens and $10,000 plus worth of lithium batteries and a boat that I think has 100 and don't quote me on this, 170 some hours in it. Literally everything is uh, pretty flawless on this boat. I don't see anything that's wrong with it. And it has the 10 foot Raptors. That was a big upgrade as well. So should be an offer, No, nothing crazy low obviously, but I need to get rid of this boat likely. I'll link it down below my, uh, my contact information if you guys wanna pick this bad boy up. But yeah, I was up in Nebraska. Um, it's not really by Boat Works, but I, I needed to get that, that Camus back to them since whatever they're doing, whatever's happening with the business dissolving, it was their boat, uh, just a demo boat that I used, the last two Camuses that is. Um, and they had my Triton, so swapped those out. That's why my drive was so long. I had to drive six hours to Osage Beach, pick it up, and then drive 11 plus hours from Osage Beach down here to the house. And now I am dead ass tired, but I want to go fishing tomorrow. So I'm gonna rig this some bitch, show you guys uh, how I rig it for anyone that wants to buy it. And then I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm throwing in here for tackle and getting that organized as well. Fun stuff. First things first, let's see what even is in this boat for batteries. I honestly don't remember what was left in here, how it was hooked up or anything, but it's like onboard charger. Nice one too, that's the uh, Dual Pro, that'll come with it too. Um, one main on off switch for power, one main switch to turn on, looks like just the 12 volt battery. It's got 12 volt starting, three 12 volt trolling motor. I'm gonna move this I think back there behind the Raptor mounts, yeah. We got all work to do. Well, I decided it wanted to uh, rain, apparently, so had to back the old boat in, and uh, that's probably okay that it, it's gonna rain, because as you can see back behind me, uh, I got a bunch of stuff loaded onto the boat. I got the old scope transducer installed on the front screen installed, besides that, we got some dang work to, oh, look at that, I got one rod in the box. That should be all I need, right? Um, got the batteries hooked. I'm gonna show you how I did the batteries actually quick. So got the powerhouses loaded in, um, as I said, and the wiring actually all worked out. I tore everything as far as all these little circuit breakers uh, and everything out. That electronics one came directly from my, my, my Camus, so that worked out well. Um, but the problem is all the wiring is different lengths because they were able to mount these uh, these run and gun systems against the back wall there, which as you guys can tell there isn't room there I could put them over here on this wall right here, but We need to make the wires longer so we'll have to make connectors for them. That's all a big headache and uh, Something that might be again a problem for future Ben after this weekend's trip Which I'm very much looking forward to and I have to do all of uh, that situation needs to get organized and all my tackle and I gotta make some tackle and I got some prototype stuff from Six Sense. So a bunch of different hangovers that'll be out here real soon. The next, uh, I think week and a half or so, those hangovers will be live. So with that being said, that's why I am in my 2021 Triton, which I don't know, it's not a brand new boat, but um, it's gonna work just fine. I'm pretty pumped that I'm able to have it right now until my, my boat gets built and everything uh, in January. So if you're interested in this boat, hit me up. Let me know if you want to uh, put an offer in on it or whatever. And uh, if not, if I don't get a bunch of decent offers, I might actually just keep it as a camera boat or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching some efforts. Just want to give some clarity in this short video on uh, why I no longer have the Camus and why I'm randomly in an old boat that I uh, had a few years ago. But thanks for watching some efforts. I'm out here. Peace.